I've opened the file that's available to you in either SVG or MTC format, the Easter egg tree file, and I've included a couple little extras for you, just so I'm, you know. There's a grass strip and there's blades of grass. Now those, in Make the Cut, those can be taken into your own gallery. It's just, it's kind of my gift to you because they were fun to make. Let's get started decorating an egg. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move, I'm going to take and I'm going to select one of my backings, one of my solid shaped eggs, and I'm going to move it to its own layer. So that means that it is right here. And now I'm going to move one of my front pieces of my egg again to its own layer. And the reason I'm doing this, you'll see in a moment, I'm going to turn off everything else because I'm going to be using those to actually, the solid will become the background that supports my graphic and the cutout will become my sizing. So now I'm going to turn off the rest of my eggs. Let me move this over. And I'm going to bring my back of my egg up and I'm going to surround, select them both of them. Right click on my screen, align in space, align, stack. If you look at your layers menu, the front, which could be your, um, in the end it will be your pattern paper, whatever, will be in the foreground. The solid backing is one layer behind it. it. Took me a while to figure that out, but the closer to the top of the layers menu, the more foreground the more in the foreground your image is. And now I'm going to go ahead, I've already opened up my Easter Fun Doodle Bats. I'm going to select this little chicken right here, but before I do that, I'm going to create a new layer. I want this little guy on his own layer. So I create, um, hit the green arrow, and I'm going to bring in, double click on and bring in my glyph. I'm going to slide him over to the center and I have learned that if I go like 1.7, he's going to, whoops, that is not 1.7, 1.7, he's going to fit pretty well in the center there. Center of my opening. So there he is. I'm going to select all again, right click on my background, align in space, align, this time vertical center. So he's centered in on my egg. And now I'm going to add the grass to this little guy. I'll pull this menu down. And I'm going to bring it up to the layer behind the bird. Obviously it's not moved on my screen, but now I will. And it can be kind of hidden behind the opening when it's all said and done. Remember, we're decorating. We're going to get rid of that opening area in just a minute. We're decorating this background space. I'm going to color it a very light green. Now I'm going to take my blast uh, sorry, grass blades and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to move them up to where they are in the foreground of my grassy area. So I want them above the grass strip. The color is going to be the darker color here. And now we're going to go back and work on our chickadee. First things first. Let's turn off the, the foreground layer of the egg, the cutout. Now what I want to do is I'm going to color this background layer. And I want it to be an extremely pale blue. So I want to be able to see everything nice. If I select the sky blue, go to custom color, I'm going to take and slide my black slide up to the top, add it to my custom color, selected the menu box early on, and say OK. And it becomes a very, very pale robin egg. Blue. I'm going to turn everything off because what we're going to do is we're going to work with our little bird. And we don't want anything moving around. If you look very closely, the doodle bat looks like a sketched image. At this point, you can see, I want to point out a couple of areas. There's 
the little wing area right over here. Uh -uh. And I'm going to select him first. And by selecting him, I know he is selected when he turns red. I'm going to draw my box around him. Whoops. There we go. Draw my box around him. Right click on it, shape magic, and break. I have tried this a number of different ways, and to me, this one is just the easiest. It, it, it just works better for me. By breaking, I have access to all of my little parts. And I can put them on their own individual layers, which works really well if I want to do um, coloring later on and change some of my colors. Right now I've selected one of his little wings and I'm going to control, I'm sorry, that was shift, select one of his wings, shift, hold down my shift key, and select the second wing. I can join them, control J on the keyboard, and now I'm going to go to the middle toggle, selection to new layer, and my wings are on their own layer. And until I get everything separated out, I'm just I'm going to turn them off. Now I'm going to go to the body, the main part of his body. And I'm going to select that. It's red. Selection to new layer. And there it is. I try to select my layers so that the ones that would appear closest to me are the ones that will be at the top of the listing. The reason for that being, they will be the ones that show. So I'm going to now turn his body off. And now I've got a, a several little things that are left behind. And I'm going to turn off, if I turn off my background here, I'm going to see it. I'm going to select my main background. I should have done that first. And I'm going to put it at a new layer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it down. I'm going to have it behind everything else, and then I'm going to turn it off. So now what I have left is some eyes and some black marks, and I'm going to take and move those, the eyes, the beak, and the backing to the beak to their own layer, and they're above the body of the bird. And I'm going to turn that off. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select everything else and join it. and I'm going to take and I'm going to turn on the background and so now you have the background and what looks like a lot of little things and there's some cute little dots right here point these out that I can either use them or I can just get rid of them they're kind of accent dots I'm going to select all of this it's it's grouped I should say I'm, I'm not going to worry about them. I'm going to select everything and I'm going to join it. And that's going to become my sketchy part of my, my outline. So now I'm going to go back up to my beak and turn it on. I'm going to separate this and then there's this long it's a long skinny piece that I know is there and I'm going to separate that out. On the back, turn both of my separations out and on the background I'm going to make that black. It includes the eyes, so I'm going to make sure I join it. And turn that off. Turn these two on and join them and color them orange. And if I have done this right, the order of my bird, I should be able to see all my little parts with the exception of those little black dots down at the bottom. 